Today, things are getting really, really bad. AMD just made a huge promise. They're launching the best price to performance gaming CPU and the most insane gaming APUs ever. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, things are really bad right now. I tried to tell you nearly three weeks ago when ADATA's own chairman claimed some pretty bad stuff was coming to DRAM prices, as well as SSDs and HDDs. And then I covered rising spot prices and today it's absolutely beginning to hit retail and hard. As you can see right down here, it says until very recently, RAM price rises had largely been been limited to industry customers rather than frontline consumer sales. The demand for server-grade memory in HBM is now starting to have a knock-on effect. Reports indicate DRAM prices have risen 171.8% year-over-year and customers are starting to notice. As it states, this Reddit user said, I've been saving for months to get the Corsair Dominator 64GB CL30 kits. Says it was about 280 when I looked, but fast forward to today at PC parts picker, they want $547 for the same kit. And you can actually see, yeah, it's really getting expensive. This is how much the kit is now on Newegg, and they aren't the only one. Lots of users are starting to notice this. You can see right here, it says they wanted to get a kit, and now that kit is a hundred euros more in just a week. As for why, like I've said in the past, there's one reason and one reason only, AI. The demand from all of these companies building out AI infrastructure. And like the CEO of ADATA said, this is the first time anything like this has happened in a whopping 30 years. Of course, he also claimed that SSDs and HDDs would also experience a shortage. Now, so far it doesn't look like prices have risen too much for solid state drives, but if you were hoping hoping to purchase an SSD, I'd suggest you do it sooner rather than later. But first, it's November, and that means incredible PC hardware deals from Micro Center. And they sponsored today's video so I can tell you all about it, like sweet deals on some of Corsair's incredible modular power supplies. And let's be honest, with GPUs today, you definitely want to upgrade your PSU. But then you can get the best gaming CPU on the market right now, the 9800X3D, for one of the lowest prices out there. Don't want to spend that much? You can pick up the 7800X3D for $80 off. And really, there are tons more deals like this. And because it's Micro Center, you can pick them up in person. That's the beauty. I've said it before, but Micro Center is like a paradise for PC gamers because they have everything you could want for your PC build, all in one store. They're where I went to get parts for my first ever PC build. Plus, there's awesome news because Micro Center is officially coming to Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona, and the grand opening is November 7th. There will be a ton of great deals, so make sure to check those out and the awesome November deals down in the description below. And next up for today, AMD has officially given us what we want, specifically in regards to further game support for RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 GPUs. I've told this story a couple times already, but a very quick recap. Basically, AMD took RDNA 1 and 2 GPUs, think RX 5000 and 6000 series cards, as well as a ton of APUs, and they put them on a separate driver branch from their RDNA 3 and RDNA 4 cards. And on those older cards, they made it pretty clear that they wouldn't get new game optimization support, effectively rendering them useless in upcoming games. I mean, not necessarily that bad, but driver support is incredibly important when it comes to game performance. Well, after essentially confirming it, AMD backtracked some, then some more, and finally, they've released a statement to Hardware Unbox that shows we have officially won. You can see right here that he asked AMD directly, said, will RDNA 1 slash 2 GPUs receive game support and game optimizations at the same time as RDNA 3 slash 4 GPUs? for a given newly released game. For example, Call of Duty Black Ops 7 releases in a few weeks, and in early 2026, we have major game releases such as Resident Evil Requiem and Crimson Desert. And in their response, it says, yes, game optimizations and support for all RDNA series one through four will roll out at the same time in both driver packages, including, but not limited to, COD, Crimson Desert, and Resident Evil. Basically, AMD has made it crystal clear that they aren't gonna 
going to be ending game optimizations or anything like that. They are going to do day one drivers. These are going to be released the same time as RDNA 3 and RDNA 4. And that, of course, is great news. But I do want to point out, someone actually asked a pretty good question. It says, so why bother with all these maintenance mode stuff? Just let RDNA 1 to RDNA 4 be in the same driver package like before. And Hardware Unboxed gave an answer that I completely agree with. It says they wanted to end support. Makes sense that they would want to do that. They thought they could get away with it. They have since learned a hard lesson, hence the backtrack. Basically, it's pretty clear that AMD was absolutely wanting to end support for these GPUs, but they've been forced to backtrack because of all the backlash, which they absolutely deserve. And the response of finally backtracking is great news. With that said, we do not want to just stop here. We have to stay on AMD to ensure they keep this promise. Not only that, but AMD can still decide not to include certain new features either, like their upcoming Redstone. Of course, Evan SR4 already only supports RDNA 4, but there are a lot of other things coming that likely could be supported on the older GPUs, but now they won't be. Still though, this really is a win for gamers. I mean, sure, they may not get some of these newer features, but at the very least, they are still going to be optimized for newer games. And next up, AMD is set to launch the best gaming CPU in terms of price to performance ever. Of course, if you follow this channel, you know that leaks have AMD releasing a new X3D2 chip with 3D vCache on both chiplets, as well as the 9850 X3D, which comes with faster clocks. Well, it looks like AMD is planning a third option that could in fact be better than all of the others. As you can see right down here, a new CPU has been spotted on pass mark. And just like the 9800X3D, it's an 8-core 16-thread chip, but this time it's called the 9700X3D. And just like the 5700X3D, it will likely come with lower clocks. Now, I will say that pass mark actually shows higher clocks here, but I would assume that's just a mistake given the name. Either way, what's awesome about this is that it would of course be a cheaper option to the 9800X3D, but you could potentially overclock it to at least near the same performance. Probably not right at it because the chips are more than likely bin because they couldn't reach the 9800X3D, but with some nice overclocking, you could potentially get close. Either way, this is great news for those wanting a fantastic gaming CPU, but at a better cost than the 9800X3D. And lastly for today, AMD is apparently planning to release monster APUs, specifically made for gaming. As many of you know, AMD's Ryzen Max chips are pretty wild. I mean, the highest end model comes with an unbelievable 40 CUs for the integrated GPU and a 16 core 32 thread CPU. The problem is that they're primarily targeted at professional applications. And that's understandable given that 16 core CPU. Most games simply don't need that many cores. Well, also thanks to Passmark, AMD is apparently planning a very interesting new Ryzen Max APU. This one is called the Ryzen AI Max Plus 388. And apparently that plus means that it comes with the full 40 CU integrated GPU because you can see that it has the Radeon 8060S. But get this, for the CPU, it only comes with 8 cores and 16 threads, meaning this would be a perfect APU for gaming. All the GPU cores, but with half the CPU cores. Of course, Ryzen Max APUs have been pretty expensive, but that could be thanks to their target market. Maybe AMD can get these down a bit for gaming variants. Not only that, but there's apparently also a 392 SKU that comes with 12 cores and 24 threads, and it also has the full 8060S iGPU. Basically, if this is right, AMD is planning to launch new Ryzen Max chips that could finally make sense for gamers, marking AMD's further push to destroy discrete GPUs. So while that does it for today, what do you think about AMD's new Strix Halo APUs, and what about their upcoming gaming CPU? Let me know down in the comments below, and don't forget to check out Micro Center down in the description below. And as always, have a great day!